This is Papa Frank and welcome to another enlisted guide video. Today we are going to discuss infantry leveling, how to use the academy, how many soldiers and how much time it takes to get to rank 5 with soldiers and ultimately how you can rank up faster and easier. If you like the video, don't forget to sub for more. Let's get to it. First I want to discuss how to use the academy and what are the key aspects to it. In the academy you'll usually find all the infantry that belongs to one faction within a campaign. As you switch campaign and factions you will, you will see that the roster for the academy will change. The academy's sole purpose is to send in fully ranked soldiers that have their levels at max with all perk slots unlocked and get back a specialized soldier with a higher rank in return. You'll see that sending three soldiers at a time and getting back one random soldier from the roster at the end of the training will have a much higher max rank. Note, you can send soldiers of different classes but the same ranks in order to get back a random class soldier. If you send three different classes, you'll get a random one back at 33% chance. But if you send two classes of the same type, you increase that chance to 66%. In order to get back a specific soldier guaranteed, you can lock it in using train orders. If you want to know how to best use train orders to your advantage inside the academy, I have a specific video up here that will tell you all the secrets about using it and how to exploit it to its max potential. After the time of training is done, all you have to do is redeem your soldier and you can start leveling him up. Now, before you, uh, we move on, on to the next topic, I'd like to suggest an improvement to Gaijin that instead of resetting all the perks and experience gained up to that point, I think the soldier could retain, for example, the free perks if they were at rank 3 or perk points that he already got. It is just weird to see that you send someone leveled up into the academy and they come back dumb without any experience, so you have to start from zero all over with the entire ranks. Now, as we get to the next part, I want to discuss the amount of soldiers it will take you to get to different ranks with different soldiers. As we start out, for every next ranked soldier, you will have to provide three soldiers of the previous rank of the same rank. So what this means is that for rank 2, you will need three rank 1s, for rank 3, rank 2s, for rank 4, three rank 3s, and ultimately for one rank 5 soldier, you will need three rank 4 soldiers. I know this might be tough to younger players to get it, but I'll explain it in the simplest way. You need to, you need up to 81 level 1 soldiers to get to one level 5 soldiers. Every a soldier, every time you want a higher rank soldier, you will need to multiply the previous three ranks by three, which means that all of this gets exponentially harder every time you rank up. Now, there are two ways of looking at it. Uh, at it. Of course, one might say that uh, you still retain the one soldier in question, so it's only 77. But regardless, the number of rank 5 soldiers you'll want in a squad will have to be multiplied by the amount of rank 1 soldiers you'll have to invest into the long term. This might seem time consuming, but that's the way the academy works. It might sound overwhelming, but in fact, it isn't as bad as it sounds. And the next section of the video is why. Because in this section, the third section of the video, I want to discuss how to level your soldiers faster and which are some of the best ways to level faster and more efficiently. The first thing is to exploit silver orders to their maximum potential. I have a full orders guide video if you want to check it out that discusses every order type and how to best use them here in the top right hand corner. Long story short, using sold, uh, silver orders you can buy specialized orders which come with desired classes but also have a random rank between 2 and 5. 
Now, I don't know what the chances are for each rank to drop, but I've seen that the rank 3s and rank 4s aren't that uncommon, which is already a huge improvement to your rank 5 grind. It almost halvens your grind time. The next thing that uh, you can do is use train orders to use up filler soldiers in, of uh, different ranks to boost your desired classes rank advancement in the academy. If you want more details on how to use train orders to your advantage, I have a detailed video discussing train orders here in the top right hand corner. Last but not the least, the best filler for ranking will always be your faithful jack of all trades master of none troopers which by being useless most of the time they are usually especially helping ranking your desired classes in the academy and with all that said we've come to the end of the video if you enjoyed it and uh, leave here with something learned i am happy but if you want to also help me grow and do more videos like these don't forget to leave a sub a like and a positive comment for the YouTube algorithm. I also stream on Twitch almost every day, so you're invited to come hang out anytime. With all that said, Upper Frank signing out. See you next time.